Hey guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to Ships at Sea. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, let's see, today is July 5th, 2024. Um, we're going to load up the game here, and I think it's the save game one. Yeah, we're at 1.4 million. I know last week we were really close to being really close to having an... What the monkey... It's very steamy outside. <laughs> That's like really steamy. Yeah, let's go in the shipyard. Can I change? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I want to see like how close we are. Because if I only need to do like a couple small... See, one, one million four hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Yeah, so we can do like a cargo run or something like that. Yeah, let's do let's do that. All right. Oh man. Where is my bloody cargo boat? I think no. Where is it? Is that why did it put it way down here? Oh, maybe this is where it was parked last time. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see. Wait. <laughs> Great. Oh, this is annoying. It, it almost feels like it's a bug because if you know if you look around you you don't see any clouds in the sky we've got harsh sun shadows and it just doesn't seem like it should be this uh foggy I hate this boat. I don't like the way it steers or anything. It like understeers and then right when you think you've got it where you want it, it starts oversteering. Yeah, I'll reduce speed when I blow the well. Oh, come on. T, there. <sighs> All right. Where's Karoya? Point two nautical moss, Karoya. Oh, down there. Okay. Okay, I know what it is then. Kvet blit lingvia. All right. Kvet blit and lingvia. Okay, I was thinking those were the other way around, but. We're going to do some of these boring missions. I know. I know you guys are going to hate me for this. Um. Oh. 
Did I forget how to play this game? I think I may have. Kviet beat you. I'm gonna do the three around, like just around here, because those should go pretty quick, and we'll be able to buy our new fishing boat. We'll be able to fish in the Nordic seas of the Nordicness ocean of Nord with the Vikings. <laughs> They need to, I think they need to adjust the hitbox for that a little bit. Whoa! Climb. Can I play? See, I should be able to play stuff way over there. I mean, I guess I can place it right there. I wonder, I wonder if we can get one of those really expensive missions that like goes down here to Vidoya. Wait, was there like another? No. And I, I, I really would like to do another long line fishing in this episode. I don't think that's good. I don't know. I might do another episode this weekend with the long line fishing or well, maybe, maybe once we get the new boat, we can do that with the new boat. How's that sound? I want to stack the boxes on top of each other. Sorry. I, sorry for my horrible Norwegian accent. See, like if we go down to. Oh, I actually want to try the clean up trash mission. Deliver goods. That's way up in Veroy. Vidoya, this one. That's the one I was thinking of. Vidoya. I wonder, though, if depending on how big the cargo is, we might actually be able to fit it onto the boat, maybe. Like if it's just one box, it might fit right there. Oh, it's foggy in the morning. This is like the ultimate no. Yeah. Oh no, it's two boxes. Oh, what are we going to do?
Ooh, what was that? Oh gosh. See, it's like not even turning. This might be the perfect storm. Okay. Oops. Brain arm. There we go. Ah. I can't even wait. I can't. I seriously, I can't rotate the camera view. disconnect the hook oh it does it oh it does it automatically automagically all right I almost don't like that it's automagic. There we go. All right. Mega cargo. All right, here we go, guys. It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and it's still very foggy. Okay, we should, okay, that should be the building right over there. I can't even see it, I can't. I can't, I don't, I can't see it, I can't. I think the dock is kind of where this light part is. Oh, 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 oh. What? All 
All right. Yeah, they changed this around because the thing used to be over here. Interesting. All right. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. All right, there we go. Yeah, and we, we won't have any problems picking this stuff up. Cool, all right. So now we'll shoot across here. Now the crazy beans is from here, I'm gonna go down to Veteroya and then we'll go to Caroya and then to uh, take the garbage out, pick up the garbage, whatever, whatever, whatever you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it did a pretty good job that time. This area looks the same. Yeah, see, we'll just shoot. Well, I can't even, you can't even see Varoya. Um, I am going to go over the patch notes. There was actually a patch yesterday on July fourth, um, so we're going to we're going to talk about that. Um, there, everybody probably off the beginning was like, "Hey, where's all the patch notes?" Because it's in the headlines, or you know, it's in the headline for the for the video. And um, but yeah, we're going to go over that shortly. Uh, there have been some roadmap updates as well, which. Honestly, I'm not sure that I'm thrilled about, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't actually read through all of them. I just kind of took, I kind of glanced over them and I was like, oh man. But lots of stuff, lots of news all around the, there's, there's like farming simulator gameplay video that was just released. I haven't gone over that yet. Um, <clears throat> Star Citizen news, just all kinds of stuff. So it's been kind of hard trying to prioritize and figure out what you guys want to hear about and not just what I want to talk about. All right, so right about there. Um, gosh, I don't... All right. Autopilot is on. 
No! No, no, no. Whoa, that was almost a disaster. Seriously, that was almost a disaster. Okay, now I can kind of see Veyroy out there. Come on, Dr. Phil. All right, now let's try turning the autopilot on. I thought it was P. Okay, now it looks like we're on. So let's just really quick, we're gonna go over all of the patch notes. Get my glasses on here. All right, so, ahoy mateys. Uh, we are releasing the patch with fixes and improvements to enhance your maritime experience. This update includes balanced buoyancy, refined collision and improved visualizations for long line ropes and the number of fish displayed when hauling a catch. Additionally, the save game now stores game duration or time played and long lines, I'm sorry, and long lines set in the ocean. That's a, that's a pretty big thing there. We have also improved the behavior of the physical fish during long line hauling to ensure smoother and more enjoyable gameplay. So the roadmap says we've modified our roadmap, replacing the tier four auto line ship with a crab ship due to overwhelming requests from our community. This adjustment aims to enhance your gaming experience based on your valuable feedback. We will of course keep you informed of the specific details of the crab ship. Um, so the, ro the roadmap currently is as follows, September, 2024, minor update including co-op cross play and general imp improvements and then the first major update november 2024 it says tier three boats cargo cargo size large uh purse sign fishing or purse sane fishing oh no, gosh i'm not sure how you say that exactly and we're out in the thick of it into the thick of it into the thick of it I don't really think the waves are going to be that crazy in between those those buildings. So purse sane fishing or sign fishing and um, service operator, which means uh, lighthouse and mechanical issues. So finally, we'll be able to go out and do more of those um, service missions. Um, I wish we would have had more than just the one during the tutorial. I don't know why they didn't include more, but whatever. I Nothing I can do to fix that. Uh, and then it says second major update, June, 2025 tier four boats, ferry for cars and passengers, service operators for windmill and crab fishing. And then the third major update in 2026, it doesn't give it any kind of date or anything. It says tier five boats, trawler, um, offshore oil platform and container ship cargo size, extra large and then console and PC release. Uh, so yeah, storms. We have received your feedback about the storms and waves and understand that some players struggle, struggle to navigate their boats in the big waves. To address this, we are working on adding an option in the settings for player to customize their wave settings and implement a weather forecast. So that's pretty cool. As a workaround, you can try and skip some hours using the clock in the wheelhouse. So yeah, uh, so now to the, to the chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Now to the change log, uh, balance buoyancy on fixer and scar, uh, scraven, sorry, uh, blocked entry to the shipyard. If the player has cargo on the boat, this is just temporary as the cargo mission system 
undergoes rework, this rework is necessary to save cargo on board the boat or enter the shipyard. <clears throat> so that ba basically means if you've got cargo on the boat, on your boat, and you go into the shipyard, uh, it will block, it won't actually allow you to enter the shipyard until you put your stuff on a boat, I guess. Your cargo, or <laughs> until you drop your cargo off, gosh. Uh, fixed a bug that could potentially crash the game. Doesn't specify what that bug might, may or may not be. Uh, fixed a bug where the player could not pick up a long line buoy after loading a save. Fixed an issue where game slot details were showing outdated data for clients. Fixed an issue causing boat window material to disappear when it's not raining. Uh, fixed net buoys not replicated correctly for the client. Fixed some collisions on small islands around Veyroy. Uh-oh, we're getting close to Veyroy. Oh, gosh, we're almost there. We're almost to Veyroy. Uh, fixed water mask on Flippy. The water should look better around the boat. Improved behavior of physical fish during long, long line hauling. Improved collisions on the net hauler. Improved visualizations of how many fish are displayed when hauling a catch uh, from a habitat. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, P maybe? Is that right? P, oh gosh, oh my, oh dear. Is it? Wait, hold on. Okay, I turned the water, or I turned the water off. Uh, let's see. Improved net collisions on the haul hauler. Improved visualization of how many fish are displayed. When hauling a catch from a habitat, improved visualization for ropes on long lines, improved visual visualization of water cannon spray. Oh God, oh no, oh no, we are totally screwed. We are totally, totally, we're, there's no way we're getting off of this. I don't even know, like what do we even do now? Man. Wonder if I... <laughs> we are totally... Um... Help! Failures. Yeah, this is a failure. Um, how do I? Uh, a few more minutes. What's this? Oh. I mean, we're not getting off of this. Um, how am I, how am I going to get out of here? I mean, we're perfectly on this. There's no steering or anything that is going to get us off. Can I even get off the boat?
Um, oh, man. There's no rescue beacon here. Oh, it, is it on the map? No. Hell, General. This is so freaking embarrassing. You guys have no idea. <laughs> uh. Boat. There's no boat items. That's personal inventory. Where did my little marker go? Oh, there. Oh, brother. Oh, radio, radio, radio. Wait. <laughs> Look at that. I would have swore there, there's got to be a way to get out of this. Rest. Um, <clears throat> how the heck do what the heck? Yeah, P is autopilot. Okay, turn in the key. Those are like all the keyboard commands. Is it is there something that's like blaringly obvious that should be right in front of my face yet it's not? Ugh. Okay, I think I might have figured this out and I should have read things a little bit more clearly. So during failures, down at the bottom it says if you ever need help at sea, you can use the handheld radio in your inventory. So I went to my inventory, and by golly, there's a handheld radio, um, and we're going to be towed to rocks. Can't you just get me off the rocks, please? 
Okay, so everything's still here, I, except my pride. Oh, brother. I got no pride left, none. It's all gone. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Look how crazy the waves are. Like you can literally see that once you, once you get out a certain distance, boom, it's done. Um, I don't remember. I think I got through all the patch notes. I just glanced at the very end of it, and it looks like I did. So I'm pretty sure that I got through this. All right, let's try this again. I am so freaking embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, look how stupid stupid crazy those waves are and i'm sorry but they're not gonna just stop like that i mean yeah they're probably a little bit better but they need to have kind of rings of ever decreasing waveness wait can i can i drive with my I can drive with my Xbox controller. That makes it a little a little bit more comfortable for me. I'm still kind of surprised that the boat jumps around as much as it does, even in like these kind of sh more shallow waves. We're getting close. What we're really getting close to is our, our next license. So that'll be pretty cool. Though, yeah, class two. Then we'll be able to buy the really big boats that we can't, we can't, we, that we can't afford. Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Wait, that control... Okay, that makes no sense. Your trigger control, zoom in and zoom out. Left trigger, zoom out. Right trigger, zoom in. Actually, backing up on the, the control stick is what directly controls the throttle. I did not know that. I don't know that we're going to be able to squeeze through these little islands here. But if I go right, just to the right of the one slightly to the left off our bow, we might, we might make it. Did they say there was like, like we could tamp down the waves by 50%? I, I just don't think that the waves would be this freaking crazy in this island chain like this. I just don't think it would be. Oh. See, my goal is to keep my propeller in the water so that I'm maintaining my speed. 
the more we're out j- ramping through the air at nine knots is not good. <laughs> what was funny, actually, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the episode. Every time I look at Dr. Phil, I always think of Dr. Phil. And um, right before I'm recording this, I was listening. There was a Joe Rogan podcast from a few days ago. I guess they must have just dumped a bunch of podcasts onto the YouTube channel. They might be older ones. I don't know. But uh, Dr. Phil was on the podcast, so I was listening to it. This act, I'm going to have to continue testing the the Xbox controller cuz cuz back when you know before the game was released I had this game several weeks, I don't know like a month before it came out. <clears throat> the controls on the controller were like really super janky. All right, let's see where we're at. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, see, I was doing it again. Trying to use the... See, they need to, they need to decouple the uh, throttle from the thumbstick, I think. I think. See, and I don't want to get pushed to the left, I'm, and I'm like full right here. Now I'm heading towards that little island that I got stuck on before, so I don't want to go. To, I don't want to go through that again. We're almost to smooth water, though, guys. Almost. There's the fish farm up to the left a little ways. Oh, smoother water, yes, I'll take it. Okay, I see the destination. Looks like it's about half mile out. Okay, so now now I think we've got some pretty good stable water here. <clears throat> I might even have to get out and do some repairs while we're docked, if I can get docked. Remember, remember when we were having all the problems getting docked up here? I wonder if I, I can hit a button on the controller to dock instead of having to hit the T key. I don't know. I don't. Really, I don't. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, I'm gonna have to come around. See, there's, I don't think there's like a way to just cut the engine with the controller. All right, let's try this again with keyboard. Uh oh. See now my control now my controller is screwing. My controller's like screwing with the throttle. All right, so let's, let's just come in nice and slow. And then right when we need to, I'm going to cut the throttle, turn hard right, and... Move closer. I can't move any closer. Alright, we're going to try this. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make it out to the, the far away one. Bloody. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm trying to dock the bloody boat. Move any more bloody close. Ah. Uh. I hope they enjoy their wood. Oh. 
I swear I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Now I want to just go right back to Rost. Like to get up to nine hundred at least, that'll be ninety percent. Okay. <clears throat> so now we just got Karoya. And and then we'll just go back home. I don't care about the garbage. We can do that in another episode in the future. Oh man, I have to, I'm trying to de-stress after that just trying to dock the boat is so frustrating. It's it's so bad that it makes me feel like the programmers of this game are are seriously amateur. Now, I'm not an expert on this. I know that doing I know programming in general is very hard. But man, that is frustrating. It's so frustrating that it makes me want to cuss. Now, see, now I have to go back and like bleep out my cuss my cuss words. Wait, was there like a little island right there? Oh, yeah, I guess there is. I came a lot closer to it than I thought I would. See, now I can't see where that little island is. There's the one off to the right, but there's another piece of rock. I think it's ahead and to my right slightly. I think it's under the waves right now. Or it could just be the Kraken.
No, I'm not seeing it. Auto save complete. Do I have the searchlight on? Oh, I don't. Ah, uh, to calmer waters. So we're at 1.5 million now, though. So we've got more than enough to buy our boat. I am going to go ahead and buy the... Oh, you know what? You know what it really is going to stink? I guarantee it's probably going to cost another million dollars to upgrade that boat. And what don't we have is another million dollars. <laughs> or at least a half a million dollars. Ba ba booey, ba ba booey. <laughs> uh oh, Howard Stern's gonna like sue me now. All right, so we're making good time. We will be to... Where do we have to go? Karoya? Okay. Karoya and then back home. We're not going to do the garbage. This has already taken way longer than I thought it ever would. We should get the Rost music any moment now. Can I call it or can I call it? I can call it. I still really like the graphics in this game. Oh, notice... Speaking of graphics, I haven't noticed any flickering whatsoever. And I will definitely take that. All right, so Veroy is right up here, or Ve, or no, I'm sorry, Keroya, Keroya, Keroya. Maybe I don't know. That's probably not how you say it. All the Nords are like, ho ho he ho ho ho, Bradim seventy three can't say Keroya. And that's probably not how you say it either. <laughs> I have to look it up on on YouTube. All right, let's start slowing down a bit. The heck? That's a strange angular wave. All right, here we go. Caught in the throttle. Phew! What a journey! What a journey we've all been on today! What? Phew!
Ooh, I've leveled up. Level up, level up, level up. All right, back home to Rost. Yeah, pick up trash bags. You know what? Well, you know what I'll do. I'll, when the, I save the game after I'm done, I will. Uh, when we come back in the next episode, we'll see if that mission's still there. If it is, great. If not, then that's not so great. If I ever pilot a boat into Rost in my in the real world, which is probably never gonna happen, this music better be playing. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> to make the experience all the more epic for each boat that comes into the harbor. Of course all the all the salty grizzled veteran seafarer captains out there they're going to come in and be like oh not this garbage again <laughs> oh this is going to hurt a little bit Are you ready, guys? Say goodbye to Dr. Phil. Welcome the... I don't know the The conquest. All right. Um, obviously... See, the engine... 95, that, I, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, throttle. Th throttles are cosmetic. Yeah, the propeller, that's going to be an important one to buy. So something like this. Fuel tanks, I don't really need that. Fuse boxes, we'll worry about that later. I haven't had any fuel issues. Um, and again, the steering wheels are all going to be cosmetic. Oh, brother. Let's go check it out, though. Um, I'll climb on board here. Okay, so this must be the how we repair it here. Oh, good. We actually can walk aboard or walk inside. I just wish we could go down inside it. Like, I wish I, I could open up that door, go in. And there's a, some kind of a pole here. I was going to say, you know what I was going to say. All right. Okay. Well, we'll come back in the next episode. We'll probably buy some long lines for this. I probably can't afford any long lines. I might be able to take the long lines off the other boat. Um, Honestly, though, we're going to need to upgrade that engine. The engine and the prop, we've got the new prop on there. 
Uh, but the engine and the, and the prop are going to be the two major things. I might even want to change the color. I don't really like the color on this. So we'll see. And the name is fine. I like Conquest. Uh, so that's it for this episode of Ships at Sea with me, Brad M73. Like, share, comment, and please subscribe for this and many more videos. And give yourself a thumbs up if you made it to the end of the video. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.